Okay, so I'm on. What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica. We are back down here, honey. Um, I'm gonna. I'm about to go to Starbucks, but I figure I would just start the camera and talk my shit. Uh, this is, it looks like embarrassing. Yeah, it's crazy that people are really advocating for Dr. Dre. Like, he's a millionaire. A bill, not a millionaire. Hold on, scratch. He's a billionaire. Y'all, y'all advocating for a billionaire? <laughs> Or a billionaire who might slap your ass if he gets mad enough. <laughs> Woo, y'all gotta get y'all shit together. It's time to get y'all shit together. You don't advocate for a woman beater billionaire. Ever. I don't give a fuck what situation it's in. You never advocate for the billionaire. They can get themselves out of it. <laughs> They got it. They got it. Trust me. I said, why are all these people? It is the black male worship for me. Shout out to Cynthia G. I don't know if she coined that term, but baby, she is correct in identifying how in within the black community, black men and women worship straight black men. They do. Y'all do. Y'all do. Y'all do. There was this clip going around. Everybody was talking about it yesterday. Some little light-skinned dude with long with locks and a little Dior, you know, little Dior sash around his forehead. Uh had a little dangling earring and everything looking like LT. <laughs> I was like, girl, what? Okay, well, to each his own, honey. But he was on talking about what do women bring to the table? And then there was a, this other woman that was sitting there and she was bad as hell, blonde, short blonde hair, had, you know, had her jewelry on and titties out, cleavage out and everything, fine as hell, married woman. But then she started talking about what she brings to the table because he was like, what do you bring to the table? And to Yanni's point, Yanni is a millennial and she's really given the younger generation, younger group of women like, you know, y'all in your, your late 20s and, you know, you're almost hitting 30 and realizing, I'm so happy that girls younger and younger and younger are just realizing and pulling back the fucking mask and being like, girl, I see it too. Um, it's really like, he was like, it's a baited question, right? And that's called providing. And I want to make sure that y'all understand that men provide in more than just a financial way. And that's my problem because if I sit here and ask, okay, cool, if I pay every bill in this house, right, and I fix everything in this house because I'm an electrician. What are, you con what are you bringing to the table? As a woman, what do you realistically do other than have sex? Oh, you, you, you asking me? I'm asking you, like, okay, so why are you asking me? Yeah, 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 I'm just I'm asking you, what, what are you bringing? Actually, and I, every lady here, I want to know, what are you bringing to the table for the man that takes care of you? Here, here, here we go. And take notes. So <laughs> what I do is I make that house that you pay for, that you pay that mortgage for, I make it at home. I cook the meals. I'm washing clothes. That's $100 a week. Don't play with me. I, I cook, can get it made. No, 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 no. You see, that? And see, that's where you're going wrong. It costs more than $100 a week to have somebody cook for you, to have somebody clean up after you. Because a lot of times, you men become our children. All right, we dress y'all, we pick out y'all clothes, we cook for y'all, we wash y'all's clothes, we clean up behind y'all. When y'all leave your little, uh if you, they're asking what somebody, what do you bring to the table? If and her point was, if you have to ask me that, I know that all you want is pussy, because if you don't know what I bring to the table as I'm sitting across from you at a table, then you have a problem. <laughs> You have the problem. And when a man asks you, what do you bring to the table? He, every answer that you give him is going to be not good enough. It's a abated question to go into these rhetorical, um, hypothetical, circular arguments when actually at the root and at the base and at the, at the in the facts and in the stats, none of these niggas are getting married. <laughs> 52% of black men will never marry. 48% of black women will never marry. 
and they want you to go through all these guidelines and terms and conditions and stipulations while they are in fact not making as much as any other male group not as much as women as much as another male group that's who you should compare yourself to other men black men stop comparing yourselves to women that's not how this shit goes you will always make more than women because you are a man <laughs> but the question is it's like a baited question what do you bring to the table oh, other than pussy okay so what you should do is with all of your money that you want to keep to yourself without being in a partnership and hire a sex worker, a girlfriend, a maid, hire those things. What's the point of being in a partnership if you got to ask me what I bring to the table? You should already know. Good luck to you guys looking to partner with black men because yikes. Yikes. Hi, I would like a grande hot chocolate with um no whipped cream please i would i would also like a caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino grande okay and then a vanilla of uh, grande vanilla chai tea no 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 i don't want a chai tea latte i would like a vanilla latte grande vanilla latte with an extra shot extra hot no foam with almond milk Yes. Okay. And can you give me an extra pump of um, vanilla? Because it already comes with three, right? For the latte? Yeah. It comes with four pumps of vanilla. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll leave it at four pumps. I don't need an extra one. Okay. All right, and that's it. All right. We'll see if someone else will work. You know, five. All right, thank you. Yeah, um... child I thought I didn't have my card um you know what I'm saying like and then you asking these questions and at the end of the day this girl I'm telling you the the woman on the show bad as hell she talking about I do this I do this and all of the shit was labor 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 I'm like Woo, girl. It's crazy because the man is sitting there asking you, what do you bring to the table? And your response is, I make a house a home. I pick out the furniture. I do this. I do that. I do this. I do that. But it was all labor. It was all labor. And it's so weird that it's like, y'all not getting married. So what are you doing with all these requirements if the end goal is, what was the end goal? Hi. Hi. Good, how are you? Pretty good, thank you. Did you need a cup holder? Um, no, I don't, but can you put the little things the in the... Yeah. Thing, of course. Uh, Thank you. You do the same. And this is the thing. It's like y'all are having these conversations with men who aren't going to marry you. Like if that's the goal, if that's y'all goal, I, I know I said I was going to stay out of y'all business, but if that's the goal is to be with a, a black, black man. If you're going to be with a black man, you got a lot of work. You got a lot of work ahead of you. And I love Yanni's message. Take care of yourself. Invest in yourself. And she, they talk about divest, divest, divest. Divest means take what you are putting into something else and pull it out. You take it out and you put it into something where you are seeing a return on the investment. If you are constantly investing in something or someone or a collective and you are not seeing a return on your investment, 
then you pull your money out, divest, and put your money elsewhere. The message is put that investment into yourself. Because word on the street is, if you're trying to partner with a black man, and if you want him to be the sole provider, only about 16% of them are sole providers. The rest of you are splitting the bill or making more. It's a lot of cognitive dissonance going on. But however, comma, this guy is sitting here, what do you bring to the table? What would you like for a woman to bring to the table is the question. And if she says, I do this, I do this, I do this, and you come back with, I can get a maid for that, well, then get a maid for that. What do you want a woman for? No, what you want the woman for is to do what the maid does for free. <laughs> and you not give anything in return. He talking about, I, I bought the house. I bought the house. I could, I, could, I could hire somebody to do meal prep. So do you want a partnership? Because... All of this transactional stuff going on, that's not how partnership works. It is reciprocal. It's not if you tit for tat, I do this, you do this, I do this, you do this. We work together towards a common goal. That's what a partnership is for. And as a business, the goal should be seeing a return on the investment into our marriage. What is the return that we are both seeing? in this marriage how am i benefiting from it and how are you benefiting from it how are we benefiting from this together if you are in any situations marriage friendship uh relationship with a parent anything any relationship you have with someone if you are not seeing a return on your investment you have to divest and that goes for the collective that a lot of black women and i'm and I, like i said I love that younger black women are seeing like the light and like, you know what? Hmm, I'm gonna go to school. I'm gonna have a career. If I wanna be bothered with a man, it's gonna be a nice to have, not a necessity. And I think that's a problem that these men are coming to realize is like, women really don't need you. You are a nice to have. Because just like you can hire a maid, we can hire somebody to, to to change a light bulb we could hire somebody to mow the lawn we could do everything we could hire somebody but that's not the point of getting married <laughs> it's for who can do what who could do what no that's not how that's not how this any of this works but that's y'all business and y'all keep going into these rhetorical circular arguments with these men and the facts show and the stats show they're not marrying y'all they want all this work and all this stuff for y'all to do, but at the end of the day, more than half of them will never marry. So what is it that you really want? Because if you want to hire a sex worker to screw you, because that's what you sound like, you sound like you want all of these things that you could pay for, for free. And still have her be the breadwinner, because this, some more stats will show you that the women are the breadwinners in their marriages, black women. Only 16% of black women who are married to black men are, the, only 16% of the men are sole breadwinners. Now remember, only 20, 29% of black men are getting married. And out of that 29%, only 16% <laughs> are the sole breadwinners. Everybody else is paying their weight and doing the house stuff and working and taking care of kids and doing all this stuff so what when when that's when people say the investment what's the investment and y'all be entering into these arguments with these men and then what's really crazy when stuff like the baby and boosie and all that stuff those same men that are requiring all of this shit from y'all are in agreement and in alignment with these niggas on online and how they how they behave and their views and ideologies and stuff like that so it's like you're like i don't know i don't know how y'all gonna do it i wish all of you luck who are looking for that i mean within like you know I, you know i don't know good luck what does jamie that's me say good luck for real that's real that's real talk you know what i'm saying that is real talk. 
you getting on my nerves tailgating me on the damn just a regular ass street anyways y'all so yeah the guy was like what do you bring to the table and i was like oh my god i could see you bringing jewelry and headbands and shit to the table girl what and to me i feel like if and if, if them niggas is too flashy they're not i don't know i don't know i don't know i it's none of my business because i don't have anything really positive to say it's not really a it's not really looking good for y'all out here who are race loyal you're gonna have to look somewhere else maybe to the asian men because they actually make more than all male groups across the board even white men y'all better start making some belasians <laughs> ladies <clears throat> And let me tell you, that's a that they have strong the Asians all over, all over have very strong, rich culture. So you mix your strong, rich culture with their strong, rich culture. And with the the earning potential. That's where y'all should be. Up underneath some Asian men. What are they, honey? Whatever, AAPI, honey. Because they are making the most. They are making the most. Anyway, y'all, I am out of here. I'm on my way back to the hizzy. These niggas is crazy. I was like, this bitch. And then, and then the people online, Dr. Dre. He don't need to do nothing. You are really advocating. That's crazy to me. Like, I'm like, y'all sticking up for the billionaire? The woman beater billionaire? The woman beater billionaire? <laughs> That's who y'all sticking up for? Ugh. Yikes. And over over a, a homeless woman, somebody in a vulnerable state, you're rooting for the billionaire <laughs> over a woman in a vulnerable state and asking asking where is her her baby fathers where her baby fathers at where the, where you like like ronnie said where the fuck your baby your father is and where her father is and where my father is and where their father is where are they they ain't in the home <laughs> we got the stats to show you that and the and and what's funny i had to tell somebody this last night talking about she picked she picked them she picked the men she was with yeah and can you imagine one woman and if it's true that she has four children by four different men and none of the men are taking care of the kids can you imagine being one woman and having a pool of men to choose from and you pick out four men that ain't shit and possibly because you got daddy issues because your daddy ain't shit that's like five ain't shit niggas surrounded by one woman in connection with one woman and you want to tell me that it's her because she chose it's not the pool she's choosing from it's because she don't know how to pick them <laughs> i wonder if nicole young knows how to pick them if her mother knew how to pick them if tanya's mother latanya's mother knows how to pick them she picked dr dre look who we turned out to be y'all crazy with that i can't believe y'all sticking up for dr dre a damn a billionaire who might beat your ass <laughs> girl anyways y'all i'm out of here take care of each other protect your energy peace